And let's get some details on the upcoming Glow Fair. It's going to be here June 14th to 15th, uh, downtown Bank. Joining us right now, we say hello to the event manager of Glow Fair Festival, Sabrina LeMay. Hi. Hello. Nice to have you back here. Um, how are things going on Bank Street this time of year? Amazing. We are amping up, getting busy. Spring is in the air, so everyone is getting really excited. Pretty darn exciting. Now, uh, a bit of a history of the event. How many years at this point has it been going on? We're on our sixth. Congratulations. Thanks. I always ask this, why is it called the Glow Fair? Because that's, that's a unique name for a festival. Well, it's because a lot of what's happening is glow in the dark. So we yeah. really pride ourselves on making things glow and um, just a creative vibe that it gives off. Super cool. You have announced the lineup already. We have. Which is great. And it's very locally based, which is awesome. Would you li like to talk about some of the big names? All of the names. Maybe not all of the names, you know, but who's coming? So our main acts right now is Stars on the Friday, the 14th. And then on the Saturday the 15th, we have Coeur de Pirate. So those are our headliners. Um, we have Rise and Scylla, uh, Milk and Bones, and Andrew Cacera, who's mm -hmm. actually one of our locals, which we are so excited about. That's great. We've had Andrew on the show here. He's, he's a, a very up and coming young man for sure. Um, is, does it take a long time to book all these artists? I mean, it does take some time, but uh, we know what we want, that, that kind of goes with Glow Fair, so it's amazing. We have some great DJs, we have Danny Fernandez and mm. DJ Elon's back and everyone knows DJ Elon, so That's cool, yeah. very cool. Okay, so can you tell me about uh, street planning? Because you've got a lot going on now, it's not just about the music, music that's going on in the main stage, but the whole street. Lots happening. Yeah, so obviously every every year we kind of have eight city blocks that are shut down. The biggest block party in Ottawa, the only. And uh, each block is immersive and its own theme. Mm -hmm. So um, we've already booked all of that. So we have Turtle Island coming back. We have our roller rink. We have um, Glow Fit, um, which is Glow Yoga and a Glow Spin this year. So mm. each block in its own is very immersive, leads up to the main stage. And um, there's some big changes with the main stage yeah. this year. What's going on? So it's actually um, Staples parking lot. Uh, so behind Staples is where our main stage will be. So Staples is our sponsor of the main stage this year. So versus it being down towards Laurier, we're bringing it down on the other end of Bank Street. Mm -hmm. So bringing some of the main stage and the axe down at the other end. And that's a big area for sure. Okay, so, so um, when we talk about it being Bank Street, so, so where does the whole production take place? Because you said eight blocks. So from where to where? So typically it's from about Gloucester Street all the way down to, I want to say, uh, Waverly this year. So. Okay, okay. so it's just a big area. Yeah, it, it covers a lot. It's quite a walk, but uh, definitely worth it. Yeah, also worth it is the silent disco. Now that's yes. something very unique. How does a silent disco work? Really cool. Um, so usually it's some DJs battling. Um, we have two or three and they're all playing different music. And then if you were a bystander not listening to headphones, you'd be standing there and you would see a bunch of people dancing. Uh, and what's it's, wrong with those people? And it's very silent. So you're like, what's happening? And they're yeah. moving around and they all have different music in their ears and they light up. So you could see which DJ they're listening to and then you kind of get a feel of like which DJ is winning the battle. Oh, so, that's neat. Yeah. That's something else. Okay, so uh, family friendly? Of course. Yeah. Yes, we have a kids zone um, Saturday during the day from about 12 noon to 5 p.m. And there's a little band in the kids zone. There's lots of activities, face painting, lots of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're always asking for the community to, to be a part of this. So volunteers are, are being looked for? Oh my gosh, we are always accepting volunteers. We love volunteers coming on board. The more the merrier, we're happy to bring them on. Okay, and I'm sure all the uh, the volunteer application process, glowfairfestival.ca. Exactly. What about the Mikel Jean Foundation? Because I understand that's a part of what you're doing as well, you're helping out. Yes, so the Mikel Jean Foundation um, came on board last year, so we are sp uh, part of that organization is we're working with them and they're a great foundation and we combine um, the partnership by having people on the street, uh, any like the face painting, all the donations go back to the Mikel Jean Foundation. That's amazing. So it's really great. Okay, what about those who are going to say, you know, during the summer months, the last thing we need is to have all these blocks shut down because of parking or congestion? That kind of thing. Well, that's not a problem yeah. because parking is free on evenings and weekends mm -hmm. on Bank Street. So there's lots of side streets, lots of parking to be found. That is good. How many are you expecting to come through the doors uh, for an event like this? Well, last year we had over 60,000 people. So 60,000 yes. people. Wow. Oh, by the way, how much does it cost? It's free, oh, and that's the best wow. part. Free? Yes. Well, that's amazing. Glowfairfestival.ca, uh, as mentioned, June 14th and 15th. Thank you very much, Sabrina LeBay. Always wonderful to have you on our program and wonderful to have you here as well. Have a good day. I'm Dylan Black. Take care.